Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be doing a one month update on my protective style if you guys are interested in this video then please stay tuned so i'm currently wearing a wig as a protective style it's been a month since i braided my hair down and i plan on keeping these braids in for the next four months so in a previous video i asked you guys if you wanted to see a monthly update and a few of you said yes so this is the first update and it's been a month since I've had my braids in and I'm just showing you guys a close-up of my scalp. And as you can see, my scalp isn't really looking dirty or anything like that. And I know a few of you asked me, because um, in that video I also said that I don't plan on washing my hair while my hair is in this protective style. And then a few of you asked me if I plan on doing like co-washing or if I plan on doing any type of cleansing to my scalp and the answer is no um the only way I would the only time I would actually like cleanse my scalp is if I plan on working out and right now I'm currently not working out so that's why I feel like there's really no need for me to do any type of co-washing or cleansing of my scalp so in this video I decided to show you guys my scalp cleansing routine when I would work out on a regular basis because when I work out I sweat a lot so I would cleanse my scalp about twice a week and normally I use the product by ORS it's called the herbal cleanse but since I wasn't able to find it in the stores and I didn't feel like ordering it I decided to try a new product by African Pride and it is the Black Castor Miracle Growth Protection Formula braid and scalp cleansing rinse so this will be the first time i'm trying out this product so while i'm applying this product to my scalp i'm just going to read some things off of the bottle so you guys can get a better understanding what this product is for exactly so it cleanses removes buildup and soothes scalp during braided styles and under weaves no frizz no suds it has black castor oil micellar water coconut oil and peppermint oil it has no parabens no sulfates and no mineral oil and then on the back it says this braid and scalp cleansing rinse gently cleanses and conditions hair edges and scalp during braided styles and under weaves without causing frizz soothes scalp and calms itching leaving hair refreshed and styles lasting longer Great for braids, crochet, edges, under weave care, and protective styles. The black castor oil nourishes scalp and helps to promote hair growth. Micellar water attracts dirt and buildup, cleansing and drawing out impurities without drying out hair and scalp. Coconut oil deeply conditioned, hydrates, and repairs and help repairs. Peppermint oil soothes and refreshes the scalp. And the direction says to adjust braids or gently lift weave or wig to expose scalp. Position the nozzle to scalp. Apply rinse following part lines. Massage into scalp and hair until clean. Rinse with water. So what I did was I mainly just focused the nozzle on my scalp and in between my braids and I just made sure that the cleanser reached my scalp and I went ahead and massaged the cleanser into my scalp. So what I would say about this product is that it smells really good and it's not as messy as I thought it was going to be and also when I applied it to my scalp it did feel really refreshing. Now when it comes to actually cleansing my scalp that I'm not too sure about just because as you guys seen in the beginning my scalp wasn't that dirty to begin with but the reason I did this video was because a lot of people were asking if I plan on cleansing my hair or if I plan on, you know, doing a co-wash, which I don't plan on doing. Um, I just did this video for demonstration purposes for those who want to keep their hair in for a long time, but um, are kind of nervous about not washing their hair during the process. So I would just wanted to show you guys like an alternative you guys can do or use um to cleanse your scalp while it is in a protective style for a long time so this video is for you guys
So after I applied the cleanser to my scalp, I just went ahead and hopped into the shower and just rinsed out my hair. So now I'm just going to follow that up with my wash day moisturizing routine, which consists of aloe vera juice, aloe vera hair butter, and um, a daily moisturizing cream. And I'll show you guys that in the next few clips. So I'll go ahead and leave in the description box the video to how I make my aloe vera juice as well as the aloe vera butter if you're interested. So I just used a t-shirt to dry up my hair as much as possible before using the aloe vera juice. And then once I'm done moisturizing my hair, I'm just going to let my hair just air dry. I try my best to avoid heat as much as possible. What we do here is go back, 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 back. And once my hair is done air drying, I'll just put my stocking cap back on and then I'll put my bonnet back on. And whenever I need to go out in public, I'll just pop my wig on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.